against the separation of children on the U.S.-Mexican border? How can they be against building a wall between us and Mexico? How can they be against agencies like ICE, Immigration Customs Enforcement? But then you support and then you tell me, oh, I'm with you. How, don't, you can't push me out of the movement because I'm also against white supremacy. Ask them this. How can you be against white supremacy in the United States of America and the idea of living in a supremacist state based on race and class, but then you support a state like Israel that is built on supremacy, that is built on the idea that Jews are supreme to every Palestinians and the movement for the self-determination of the Palestinian people. We have always been on the right side. And alhamdulillah, we have stayed consistent in being on the right side, even in the face of so many relentless attacks on the movement in which we have been a part of. What's really interesting now is that I'm not on the defensive anymore. I don't have to defend human rights. I'm not on the defensive. What's, the people who have to be on the defensive are the Zionists. Because we as Palestinian Americans and Muslim Americans in America, we are looking at the southern border and we're saying we are outraged and we stand against the children who are being stripped from their parents at the border. We are also saying that we are against a wall between us and Mexico that's going to separate our two peoples. So I don't have to defend that because I'm also against the detainment and separation of children in Palestine. I'm also against the apartheid wall in Palestine. So the people who have to defend themselves now are Zionists. How can you, and this is what I tell college students, you don't even have to make statements. Just frame it into a question. Ask those who call themselves progressive Zionists to explain to you how can they be against the separation of children on the U.S.-Mexican border? How can they be against building a wall between us and Mexico? How can they be against agencies like ICE, Immigration Customs Enforcement? But then you support and then you tell me, oh, I'm with you, How don't you can't push me out of the movement because I'm also against white supremacy. Ask them this, how can you be against white supremacy in the United States of America and the idea of living in a supremacist state based on race and class, but then you support a state like Israel that is built on supremacy, that is built on the idea that Jews are supreme to everybody else. How do you then not support the caging of children at the U.S.-Mexican border?